Our next speaker, Toastmaster Alex Cardenas. All debts must always be paid. Mortgages are paid in dollars. Favors are paid with favors. Mistakes are paid with good deeds. But how are sacrifices? How are sacrifices paid for? Here is Toastmaster Alex Cardenas with this speech, Debts That Cannot Be Paid Back. Please welcome Toastmaster Alex Cardenas. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Dear Toastmasters, it's safe to say that we love our mothers, right? Yes. As I've been told, this is a place that we can have a conversation amongst friends. So I wanted to talk a little bit about debt that cannot be paid back. I'm not talking about student loans, <laughs> but rather the debts that are paid in sacrifice. In honor of Mother's Day, I'd like to dedicate this speech to my mother. Last year, we were in Maui, in the beautiful island, in the beautiful islands of Hawaii, and it was just spectacular. We were strolling through the road path of, it's called Road Tahana, and it circles around the east side of Maui, around this huge mountain that I can't remember the name. And along the way, we stopped at this small tiki bar that served um, smoothies and crepes. We grabbed our drinks, and then we, we went down these steps that led to a bank, and it overlooked a beautiful landscape, a bunch of trees, and then of course, in the background, further out, you see the clear blue sky and the ocean is just a beautiful view. There's a picnic table by the bank and I sat down with my mother at that point. And it was at this moment that I decided to ask my mother a question that I have long been afraid to ask her only because I didn't know what the responses were, didn't really, couldn't really put together a lot of the images that I had in my head. There were memories that I hadn't really fully processed. And so I said, Mom, I have recollections of our trek that we made here to America, and I'm trying to bridge the gaps on it. I remember in the airport, I remember walking through a jungle or a forest, I'm not exactly sure. I do remember these gigantic trees that we were crossing. Um, I remember walking through dirt, crossing the river. There's different images coming at me, uh, going through it, uh, me, being in the back of a box truck coming out and eventually visiting or stopping by or something at what I can equate to now as a pimp's house. And she looked at me and squinted and smiled and stared for a moment deeply. And she said, I don't remember a pimp's house. <laughs> only because we had been through that trek and I really wanted to know what it was that about. Dear friends, my mother took the time to explain all the images and piece it together what we went through, how we actually almost died. We actually met up with other dangerous smugglers just to get here to America. It's a story that one day I'll share with you in detail if you continue to come back to Toastmasters. But for now, suffice it to say that she was piecing those puzzles for me together. And after she took a moment to tell me everything that we've been through to get here, she took a moment to tell me, man, look where we are now. We are in Hawaii. We were in Hawaii because of a president's trip that I would have one with my sales team to get there. So, my mother had dreamed always about going to Hawaii. You see it in the movies, you see it in Discovery Channel, you always see these great places, and you think, man, I'd love to go there, but once you look up an airplane ticket, you realize very quickly, <laughs> it may not happen. And I took a second to think there, I look now, and I think, how did we get there? How did we get to Hawaii, a place that she never thought that she would get? My mother would tell you it's my discipline, good character, all these beautiful things. Very kind and untrue. <laughs> that is not what got us there. 
I witnessed my mother's trials handled with character over the years. I have yet to this day witnessed my mother complain. I mean, she might badmouth a family member here or there. <laughs> but I can't recall of a moment my mother has complained about her circumstances. My mother has worked as a housekeeper for over 30 years, cleaning rooms in and out. And I think about that, and I think how mundane that might have been, or must have been, but not once did she ever come back and say, gosh, I'm tired of singing after other people. This sucks. Not only that, there were points in time where she had a part-time job, so she was working two jobs. And it was around 2013, 2012, at some point she was working three jobs. Three jobs. But she never complained, never said, man, I can't do this anymore, never. My mother would party with the family until like two o'clock in the morning, get up to go to work, I said. Not a freaking complaint, I'm sorry. Not a complaint. <laughs> she, the thing that she's most proud of when we were sitting there at that day at the picnic bench is I've never had to take government hands. She corrected her thing. She's like, there's this one that I have to take it. But I tell you guys, that was the time that we were all visited in Central Florida in 2004 by Charlie Francis and Jean. <laughs> At that point, it was really hard. She said that. But other than that, she says that's her proudest moment. So I will tell you that that is what got us to Hawaii. And that was Love to tell my mom that. I'm sure when I get back to Texas this summer, I'll let her know. Let's know what got us to Hawaii with you. I really think about that sacrifice that my mother did. She hit the reset button in her life at the age of 31. I was four when we made this trip. I can't imagine doing that trek at 31. I am 37 now, so that would have been six years ago to restart your life with the friends you know people that are around you, your career, or whatever she was doing at that time, to just start off all over. The bill my mother was given to secure for the future was a hefty one. And through the reflection of her work ethic, I will continue to pay back to my mother for a debt I can never repay. Thank you.